What's up everyone, Premium Success here, and welcome to my gaming channel. I basically just thought to myself, I haven't had a legitimate live commentary in a long time, like, where I just sit here and play and just talk to you guys, and actually build a relationship with you guys. I mean, I've realized you guys don't know a lot about me as a person. I'm just some guy that, like, plays video games that some of you watch, and I'm really thinking about changing that. Thinking about maybe getting a little bit more personal on this channel, but I don't know. But besides, I really just need to practice live commentating because I'm not so good at it. I tend to like blab and not stay focused at all and my gameplay tends to suffer from it at least when I used to make an attempt at it back then but I have a lot planned for Infinite Warfare which is going to require me to be able to do this better than I can now so I think I mean just let me know if you guys enjoy this at least more so than when I usually post because I do real I do have realized that as I was inactive a lot of you guys were inactive as well I mean I was getting like what over 10 likes a video and over 100 views a video for a while and then as I disappeared a lot of you guys did too and that's I mean that's expected you know by the way this guy legit just like totally shot at me and then disappeared I'm kind of confused at where the hell he went I think that was the guy yeah suppressed weapon that was definitely him yeah I'm not gonna challenge that guy oh actually you know what I don't, all right, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna go around and get that guy. Be easy. He's not even gonna expect to watch. It'll actually be good if I can get him because I'm getting really close to my streaks here. But what I really wanted to make this video about, like, I had a topic, and that's what I really want to get into. And it, it'd actually be a really awesome if I can make this first live commentary a nuke, if I can. But I've been thinking, like, I'm getting old. Like, sometimes I, I just sit here and I play games when I'm by myself, like when no one's on, and I just like some people like think in the shower, you know. I don't know, some people just like to stay under the water and think, shower. I like the game and, you know, when I'm by myself I just think, but I was thinking like, I'm getting old. And I really haven't thought about that since like I was a teenager. Like if most of you don't know, I just turned 21 a little while ago and I read this fact and it absolutely blew my mind and I'm, I'm gonna quote it. It, it stated that 9-11 is going to be the first year that freshmen in high school will learn about that day as a day that they were not a part of. And this absolutely blew my mind and truly made me feel like a whole lot older. Let me go ahead and let me drop this GI unit real quick. Get him, teammate. I'll get him. Alright, but Zone 9 11 wasn't as memorable for myself just because I was like barely six. I like have no memory or recollection of the day in itself. I mean, no disrespect meant to all that were impacted, even ever so slightly. And I'm truly sorry, but growing up as a kid, the way I was raised, I was like never, I mean, when it came to things I should be concerned about, I was never like properly informed. Like, I was a really clueless kid, to be honest with you, when I was growing up. So when 9-11 happened, it was just like another day for me, you know, like, what I mean, and to be quite honest, I don't even know for sure if my school was even affected, like, I don't know if we got out early or anything, you know what I mean, but... I really wish as a kid people in my life genuinely took the time to explain things to me as a kid like I get I was a hyperactive kid but like no one really talked to me like I'd understand until I was like 16 which was stupid like I honestly hate my parents for that but I think the only person that did was my uncle and I'll always be thankful for that but as I got older I realized kids are gonna miss out on so much goodness that like we 90s kids had and I know I have a lot of younger viewers, and I don't know how many, like, older, you know, 90s kids viewers I have. I mean, some of you are, like, super adventurous and, like, so interested in things, and that's great. But truly, I feel like I understand all the adults in my life with, like, every year that passes. Like, the big thing for my parents was freaking Mario 64. Like, it just bothers me that kids these days are going to... Ha not have the faintest clue of like Lord of the Rings or even like Harry Potter like I had a Razor scooter and I see four-year-olds with iPads like what the hell is that BB going to do with an iPad my dude like kids need to know the pain of the Razor scooter smacking your ankles okay I don't care who you are if you have owned one in your life you've experienced a horrible pain alright like when I was eight I was trying to walk the damn dog with the yo-yo okay not fair, I tell you. Not fair. But yeah, 
no one really talked to me as a person when I was younger. I don't have any recollection of 9-11, and I am getting old. I don't really, I'm not sure I really want to jump on B right here, because no one else doing it. They're kind of just chilling, and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm in a bad spot. I'm in a bad spot. I, I hear them. Oh my god, I'm scared. Oh my god. Oh my god, run away. I'm pretty sure I'm close to my nuclear. I don't I haven't died. I'm about to double up my race. I'm pretty sure I'm cl I'm really close. My streaks have gotten me a lot of kills and they're kind of helping me get closer, but I'm pretty sure I'm like on a t Have I got my have I got my ruthless yet? I'm just going to try to play this smart. If I can turn this into a nuclear gameplay, I just map up. Uh, okay, assist. All right, real quick guys, I'm just editing this part in here just to kind of this is not part of the live commentary. But if any of you guys have any recollection of what happened the day of 9-11, you should totally tell me a story down in the comments. Like, I'm honestly really interested. If you were impacted by it, by the smallest means, definitely tell me about it. Alright, I think I'm just going to chill here until I can get my highs back up. Maybe my wraith can get some kills. Uh... Oh. Give me the gun. Holy crap. Hopefully I'm- Oh, I think my Wraith just got that kill. Damn. I was hoping my highs would get it. Well though, I got my wraps either way. Die back here. There's two of them. Were they, okay, no one was just shooting something down. I don't think the other guy was even playing. Holy crap. Neutral. Need to get out of there. Okay, by the way, what the hell is a chipmunk? Is it just like a cuter version of a squirrel? Like, do they basically just do the same thing? Oh my god! Sorry if that was random. When I get nervous, I get random and awkward sometimes. I think I'm close to this nuclear. I don't want to look like a failure and die for you guys. I'm in a slight panic. I need an adult. Oh jeez, I am an adult. I am the adult. I need focus. Focus. Go in, little G.I. Joe. There's a chipmunk behind that car. There's a chipmunk. Chipmunk, shoot it! Chipmunk, shoot it! I have a newfound hate for chipmunks. Still behind that car. Yo, what, what, what was he thinking? Oh, I got the nuclear metal already. Oh, I knew I was close. Now can I make it a flawless nuclear though? That is the real question. Oh my god, that guy almost freaking camped that corner on me. And it should be spawning right here. Maybe not. Oh, I was right. They're gonna be spawning behind me too, I think. Oh, damn, this guy's gotta die. Oh, I'm about to die right now. No, I guess they weren't spawning here. Huh. I got really lucky to be honest though. Like this game wanted to shit on me, they would just spawn them all back silos, they are like all doomed. That guy, that first guy, or the second guy rather, that I was shooting at, he would just not die. I might be able to, I don't think I died, I didn't die yet, right? No, I didn't die. I don't want to die checking scoreboard though. Surprise! All right, I did it. 64 and zero, flawless, and I got the nuclear. Sweet. I don't know. I don't know if you guys prefer long gameplays over short ones. I'll just go ahead and experiment and make this a longer episode. I have like two gameplays in here. I'll stay in the lobby and make it a little longer. What? I'm only at like nine minutes right now, so screw it. Screw it. My badass outro. Dude was standing in my spot. No lie, that is the coolest thing that I've ever gotten on this game ever. Literally. I got that stupid little piece of crap ray gun pistol, but I mean who's gonna I'm not gonna use that. I bash on that thing like twenty four seven. I hate getting killed by that thing. I haven't used it once, literally. But yeah, that's literally the coolest thing that I've gotten out of a supply drop, literally. I think I've gotten the ice camo for that XR two, but 
and that's it. I don't want it for the XR2. I want it for like the M8 or the VMP, right? My thing just installed for Overwatch. By the way, I do have Overwatch. I don't. I don't really like it, to be honest with you. I feel like it's really. I mean, it's hell of a lot more repetitive than anything else I've ever really played. I mean, I know Call of Duty is pretty repetitive, but I mean, Overwatch. It has like two game modes. It has two, two mat like, that uh, two game modes and like it has a few maps, different maps, but. It seriously has two game modes. I know they're making like another map, I think, for it. I don't know if that was the update that installed. And I know they're making another character soon for it. But I don't I don't know. If you guys want to see Overwatch games, let me know. Because, I mean, I can get like level 25 real quick and go to like competitive. Because I heard that's a lot more better than like regular, like just pubs. So, I mean, like like anything, people can, you know be pretty stupid. I mean, on Call of Duty you run into the guy spin around in circles shooting on 14 sensitivity. And then on Call of Duty, or on Overwatch, I mean you can run into equally stupid people, I've noticed. But if you guys do definitely do want to see Overwatch, um, I do, I mean my girlfriend plays it all the time, I know a couple friends that play it, so if you guys do want to like watch some Overwatch gameplays, I can definitely upload some Overwatch, but I don't, I'm not really like best at it yet I've only played it a couple times but I mean I don't know from from what I've seen Bastion is like OP as crap he's got like that I mean he just drops people it's really annoying and like if you get like that big ass guy with the shield I forgot his name but like there's like not a lot of counters to that that I've seen except for like Pharaoh you just go up and like yeah I don't know but I'm I'm down to try. I'm down to make it make an attempt at getting good at Overwatch. To everyone who has no idea what Overwatch is or has seen anything on Overwatch, you guys are probably extremely confused, and that's fine. It's just whenever I, whenever I play it, I like always run into people that have like full squad or full parties, and I just always get my shit kicked in. I always get like the people that aren't so good at that game, and I know I'm new to it. But even I'm not terrible at it. Like, come on. I don't know. I just feel like with that whole game, it. I mean, for one, that game should not have been 60 bucks with how little they're doing with the game. You have two game modes and just a very few amount of maps, not a whole lot of players. I mean, what makes it a $60 game, first of all? Like, there's no campaign, there's no background story, there's absolutely nothing. I mean, I get it. I guess it could like turn into like Destiny. Like at first, they didn't really do Dest like anything with Destiny. Now it's kind of like they did a lot more to it. But I don't know. Even even then, Destiny had more a hell of a lot more than Overwatch had. I don't know. I mean, I just have a problem with everything that Overwatch is, from like spawns to to gameplay to I don't know. I mean, I get it. I guess it's competitive in a way, like it's cooperatively competitive in a way that Call of Duty really kind of isn't. And I guess that kind of appeals to, you know, new and different people. And I'm not like totally like, I know it sounds like I'm insulting it, but I kind of am. <laughs> but like more than that, I'm, I can see how it's fun to some people. Again, my girlfriend plays it like all the time, but to me, it's just a whole new thing of rage material, and I just can't. However, though, one thing that I have noticed about the game that I can say for a positive fact is that the community definitely seems to be a whole lot more friendlier and a lot less toxic than the Call of Duty community. Cause, oh my God! But you know, you guys know how I feel about that already. And to be honest, just that alone is probably why people like Overwatch, because the people that support Overwatch are definitely a lot more loyal and are definitely seem to be a lot more kinder at heart than um, Call of Duty people. Just, I mean, most of them just seem to be just totally rotten to the core. I'm actually going to pull out this hive here. Um, I'm actually, I've been trying really hard to get this, like, hive hero armor, but I mean, I think I have, like, two or one out of six. It, it's just... I don't know why, I just find it so hard to get six kills with this thing, with the hive, like, it just, things do not go my way ever, I just cannot seem to get any of the stupid people on the other team, just to just walk through it, I seem to get the smart guys that like, see it and they shoot it, and stuff like that, 
Like, I don't know. I've been trying to, like, wait until I get, like, some sort of nuke town. Like, hopefully there's a nuke town 24-7 and then I'll try to do it then. Because I feel like that would be, like, the easiest way to do it is just to run overclock with the hive and then just ban that shit whenever I get it and just hide in the corner like a little bitch. Because I hate, like, how when you die, the hives, like, disappear with you. And that guy literally just vision pulsed me and killed me. Whatever, though. By the way, props to you guys if you actually made it this far into the video. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if you guys like shorter or longer videos, but this is like a little experiment for me, I guess, to see how many of you guys, you know, stay here and, and watch this shit. But, um, if you have made it this far, you are the real MVP. I love you guys so much. And I am going to get try to get better at live commentary, like I said, guys. Um, if you guys have noticed, I've kind of been everywhere. With live comms, I tend to blab a lot, and I had an original topic. And then I've just been all over the place with random shit from there on out. Securing alpha. But this is probably going to be a grind. Um, I'm determined to, be, to get a lot better at live commentaries, not stumble over my words so much. I have done that so much already. And I plan to have like some type of, I don't know, maybe a new topic for every time I do this like type of thing just to keep me like focused and try not to babble so much and rant. These guys are getting destroyed. Oh my god, hold this for me. Spawn alley. Spawn alley. Uh, there's another guy. Did I just... Someone just shot at me. Did someone just shoot at me? Oh, somebody just shot at me. I'm just gonna chill. Is he back there? Teammate. Yeah, he is back there. He's clueless, teammate. Oh, pff, now he pushes me. There was a guy in there probably the whole time, I think. That guy is talking. I think that's the first guy that's actually talked in game chat in a while for me. I actually, I'm recording this, like, I don't have my mic in, so I can't even actually talk to that guy. Alright guys, round two on this fringe domination. I wonder what's up with the fringe, I've been uploading a lot of fringe lately I've noticed. But we're gonna make our way to double windows here. That seems to be the area that everyone wants to be at. You know, one thing I should definitely do is actually lower my score streaks when I do these live commentaries. I feel like sometimes I distract myself pretty hard talking like that and die. I don't know, I feel like maybe lowering my score streaks would help. I don't actually like running orbital view set when I'm going for like a nuka gameplay or anything huge because I find like the randoms on my team push out everything and instead of it benefiting me in any way, it turns more into me running back and forth between spawns getting no kills throughout the whole entire duration but I might start running it again when I do these, it might help. That along with playing smart because I have been playing really reckless this whole entire second fringe map actually that I've just noticed. The safest thing is to just run like the whole entire perimeter of any map like what I did in the first map. Or you know if you don't give a crap about your life and want a lot of deaths you can just run through the middle of the map a lot like me and reload out in the open like a dummy. I don't know why I'm playing so poorly and recklessly right now. I don't know maybe it's just because oh I know God. I reached my goal in the first map I don't know. Or maybe that's just like my poor excuse for my poor gameplay right now. Or maybe it's just because it's 9 11. Because nobody likes 9 11. Mike Geo. <laughs> you know, actually, my friend, uh, I've known him since he was like six. I've actually met him yeah, online, you know, playing video games. He actually has a birthday on 9 11, and 
he says it absolutely sucks. Like, no, you know, not the whole birthday thing, but he just said, like, it's hella awkward and stuff celebrating your birthday on 9 11. So, happy birthday to him, buddy. If you ever watch this, happy birthday. You know what's your birthday today? Or maybe not today, whenever you actually watch this, or <laughs> whenever I upload it, because I have a tendency to upload videos, like, very, very late. But regardless, just know I was thinking about you on your birthday, buddy. What? I'm getting first shots into everybody, but they just dropped me. <laughs> Maybe if I envision myself shooting chipmunks, I'll do better. Elvin! Spooky motherfucker, where are you? <laughs> oh yeah, watch my shots shoot laser beams now. You always want to put every fight in your favor, and if fight's not in your favor, you gotta try to put yourself in a better one. I can already tell my biggest mistake is I am going for revenge kills a lot. I gotta probably maybe try to do something different. Wait, did they seriously get a raise? Oh, and they got a hater? What? Yo, who and raps? Oh my god, you got the full freaking package on me. Yo, what? Someone is going hard on the other team right now. Oh my goodness. Oh, we are about to start getting destroyed right now. We're like, we're about to get obliterated and we're double capped. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to ride this thing out. Someone's going off. I'm playing like crap. Did I like shoot all these raps? I feel like the more you shoot and blow them up, the less of them there are, which is technically true. Yeah, I'm afraid the hire is not going to do much for me right now. Huh. I do know I got to do something like huge like right now because I'm not about to lose this. That would suck if I just drop a nuke then I of course shoot me in the back. Just whipped out the hire. That happens to me every time. Alright, but no, for real though, I definitely got to turn up right now and I'm about to. I'll hop on this flag, because I don't think I've even hopped on a flag once. Don't kill me, please. Damn it. Oh, uh, one thing I don't want to do right now is jump on B flag while they have streaks, because I'm probably never going to get it. I'm going to do it anyway. Now they're going to spawn back silos right here. Laser beam sun. Time to turn up. Real talk. Back, back silo maybe? Nope. Now they're gonna spawn. Dome. Yep. Prep. We should be good with a double cap right here. Oh, and we have a triple cap actually. I didn't even notice that they capped A. Trying to gun people out here. They should be they're gonna spawn back at C. Guarantee they're gonna spawn C right now. No? What? They should definitely be at C right now. Losing alpha. There they go. Threat neutralized. More? Not yet. Top grandmas, back cells. They're getting like split spawns right now. It's freaking weird. I have, oh. oh! All about to spawn here. They're all about to get this. Oh, they're all about to get it. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Can I get a streak real quick? Can I get a streak real quick? Spawn fences, back silos. Oh my god, he almost got me. Oh my god, he almost got me. Outplayed. Outplayed. Alright, that's gonna that's gonna be game. There's no way. Alright guys, well thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is definitely gonna come to an end very shortly. I was actually kinda worried there for a second, but thank you guys so much for watching. I did manage to clutch up and I'll see you all in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. It is something new that I've tried. Um, go ahead and leave a like if you guys have made it to the end of this video. Get that guy. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys all in the next one. All CDP assets degraded. No corpses will ever be found. Dude was standing in my spot. <laughs>